Hello again, we're back. We're Persephone and welcome again to uh, this our home studio in beautiful Andorra. This track uh, is taken out, uh, it's a demo uh, from a song for our new album. We are working on, on a new album now uh, and we are using some plugins and stuff to get some demos going on before uh, sending it to a big studio to get it mixed. So uh, we will show to you how it sounds right now and we will go through all the plugins we use and all the process we, we, we follow to, to get to this, to this point of, of production, right? Right now the song is called Song 4, <laughs> but I don't think it will be the final name. Working title. So when we work, when we write music, uh, the process we used to follow is all about, we like choose uh, different uh, points before starting work, before we start working, like uh, the tempo of the song, or we used to start just with a click track and uh, plugging for the guitar and, and some keyboards before doing anything else. We used to have the drummer with us when we, when we write music, but he's not here today. Uh, and we used to uh, make him play in an electronic drum kit so we can have all, the, all the his playing on the computer really easy to, I don't know, edit or change things without going through lots of takes. So we used to go with just a click, uh, tempo click, and then we start noodling with the guitar, finding a cool idea, um, singing a lot, like this part goes like blah, 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 you know, so professional. And, and after that, we used to go with a rough demo, just with the guitar and, and, and with some keyboards, and then we start from, from there. The main riff, for this part, uh, this is like a, a, it's not a chorus, it's a verse. It's Will a verse. be a verse, yeah. yes, with some <laughs> vocals on it. We don't have the vocals yet. Uh, so maybe uh, it will be interesting to hear the main riff, the, the way it works. Uh, I don't know if I can play, yes. Um, uh, the main thing sounds something like, it's a distorted thing, and it sounds something like uh, this, it's in, it's in <laughs> this key. Right, it's a really draw and low kind of riff, and it's very really rhythmic. So it goes something like this. Do you can you put the click track? Okay. Yeah. Right, so at this point we don't really care about the, t the, the quality of the take, we just go through motion, try to, to create a really rough idea and, and we uh, uh, talk about the length of the part, where there will be some vocals or some extra uh, arrangements with all guitars and stuff. So we start from there. To get the sound we, we have this TH2 Overloud uh, plugin. We work with that, we have been working with that uh, the last years, uh, so it's amazing for high gain for high gain uh, guitars. It's amazing the way um, uh, modeling is working these days. It's, it's quite it's amazing. Awesome. We are an old school band anyway, so we work with cabinets and, and valve and everything, even when we record, but for these demos it sounds amazing. I think it's a, it's a great plugin because uh, you don't have to, to put a lot of plugins to make it happen a good sound. For example, if you, if you have only the, the sound guitar and then you have to add a compressor and then an equalization, uh, it, the computer at the end gets really, um, really uh, cargada, como sería? Uh, loaded, yeah. Very loaded, you know, and it gets slow. And uh, we don't want that because we, we really need the, the, the plugins we are working with to work fast to avoid interruptions in the artistic process. 
Yeah, it's amazing because because we are writing. We don't want. I don't want as a guitar player. I don't have patience to anything because I'm a guitar player, and I I really want to go and, and play. So this uh, particular uh, patch is really. I mean, we just plug in and, and go with the with the first patch high gain we 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 want. No, yes, it's, it's really a couple couple tweaks here, a couple yeah. tweaks there. Make maybe the gain, uh, maybe a compressor to make it a, a bit uh, more present. But but you know, it's it's really simple and. Uh, we, we can work even with uh, like six, seven at the same time plugins, different guitars, and the, and the session gets gets uh, gets okay with it. Yep. Uh, actually, it's a, a preset from the plugin, yeah, it's uh, awesome. and it is not not tweaking is needed, so it's go fast. After that, we we used to work l a lot with the, with the drums, you know, because we think that the rhythmic. Um, Part of the of, of of a section or of a song is like the the the, the most important part uh, in a song. If you play this kind of music, we, we feel like that way is interesting because if you this is it's like sit in sit out sit in sit out. If you if you have a really good thing from the from the scratch, then you can add some other things and it sounds very good. If you need to fix it later, it's not really good. So yeah, uh, usually the drummer goes uh, on the drum kit and he starts trying to figure out all the accents, all the time signatures, and then we really spend a little time, not little time, we really spend lots of time uh, trying to figure out the specific uh, drum pattern. We really like uh, to, to be really specific with that, not just play whatever and then we will fix it later. We want to do it like perfect in the beginning just to to have something worthy, uh, then we use this uh, Easy Drummer plugin to do that because the sound, same thing as the as the guitar plugin, it sounds amazing from the start. Easy to to use this uh, preset, metal preset is so compressed and it sounds so good that when you're listening to the to the to the demo, it actually sounds like you know you can vibe with with it a little bit. It's not. I remember. The first time we, we record uh, uh, demos for an album, we were like teenagers, and I had a uh, four tracks Tascam, and you you you, it's like in video games, you needed your imagination to <laughs> to enjoy it, and then in the end it sounded good. But now it's like the, the pre-production sounds really really good, really really on point. So this is I think the the drum track uh, alone, yeah. isolated. Uh, you want to listen to it? Yes. I will show you. Again, it's a really rough take. Uh, after this, uh, the drummer uh, adds lots of ghost notes and, and you know all the dynamics, all the expression on the actual recording. But for a demo, it's really cool to to get an idea and to give this to the rest of the band to be able to work on that vocals and everything. We actually played live with an uh, electronic drum kit. Uh, is, is this electronic drum kit is okay? All right. Uh, he plays it, and but if we need to to change uh, uh, something, we just use the MIDI part. It's really easy to work with that. We don't need to go through lots of takes like, um, again, I'm sorry, I, I, I fell. So if we just move anything. If I want to change the riff, like uh, this particular accent goes in another place, we just move the kick drum and, and we can go move really, really, really fast. And uh, in a sound, sound wise, uh, I, um, when we make uh, this kind of production, we like it to, to sound as near as possible to the final product so that we can really figure out uh, uh, how it's working, how uh, sometimes it even gives uh, hints of how, how it should be the next part. And uh, for, that, uh, for that sake, uh, we, we like to the, the drums to really uh, bump out of the mix. And uh, I think Pere has uh, Pere tienes los plugins de Slate. Yeah. Uh, we we are using Slate uh, Slate digital plugins yeah. because it's just uh, I, I think it's amazing because it's just the 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 library uh, the of uh, Easy Drummer, and then we add just a couple a couple of Slate digital um, plugins and uh, it sounds really 
awesome. It, it, you don't you don't really need to to put everything in in different tracks. You know the kick drum, the, uh, the snare, and make a, a whole mix of it, and uh, you can really make it sound with very 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 few plugins. And if uh, but if you want, uh, yeah, the you want to show. the thing is like the 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 amps and this amp simulator, the, the same idea. You have you get easy drummer meta machine um, kit. And you you don't need to to get all the separate mono tracks, so you get only a one stereo track, and go straight uh, out of the box from from this. So and you you make a, a quick uh, processing with uh, I put uh, Slate Digital uh, virtual tape machines for gain a little more punch, but all done really quickly to do not break the the, the creativity process and, uh, and like like the guitars, it's the same. I did the idea. So we put the kit. Uh, we we get a basic idea with the with the electronic drum kit. Uh, actually, we use a Roland TD9, and that's it. Uh, quick processing. I put some uh, some uh, plugins, and that's all. That works. Uh, we've been working this way like the last two albums, but before this, uh, I was thinking about. Uh, when you produce this much uh, the demo you're working, there's no much room for uh, surprise when you go to the final mix as well. So I think it's, a, it's something I want, to, I want to say because I remember when we did, um, I remember it was the third album, something like that, and the demo was uh, just a click track, some keyboards and a guitar, and it was like that. And then uh, when we mixed it with everything together, all everything, everything on the same place, and all the the final mixing, we had a really big uh, impact, sonic impact, because it was so different, so professional. And then uh, because this is, is so easy to produce at home with this kind of uh, uh, tools, uh, it's amazing. But uh, there's not not that much room for sur surprise in the end. So yeah, I, I'm always like struggling with that. I like the way we go to the studio in, in, in the end, and you go like, "Wow, it sounds really, really good." But yeah, it, it, I I, f I think in the middle is the is the perfect way to go, you know. But anyway, yeah, it's some yeah. kind of uh, you, you, you really have to deal in, with that moment because you are so used to the to the sound of the pre-production, and sometimes it's, it really sounds that good that uh, when you listen to the final mix. Sometimes you really not have to struggle with that. With that, oh, this is so different. What for what I'm used to 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 yeah, listen, yeah. and uh, but in the end, when you listen, make the the cruel comparison, it's like uh, okay, this is huge and this is not huge. Yeah. This is this is proper action. It's it's really it's really okay with that. Anyway, so this is the way we have the guitars, we have the the drums, and we are using also some clean guitars here. If you want to. Yeah, I mean, but can we hear f before uh, drums and guitar all together? Yeah. Maybe it's a good idea yeah. to get to the to that point. Now we had now we have the drum kit, uh, the guitar, and I have two guitars, eh? uh, synchronized, left and right, hard left and hard right. Yeah, the That's same preset. That's interesting we, because. Uh, be years ago, we we didn't uh, play twice the same rhythmic track. You know, because it was a demo, it was like, okay, it's okay, just one gets the idea. But now we are trying to go with the stereo to get the idea, so now we, I've, I've recorded twice the same thing. So you will listen to the <coughs> two drum tracks, left and right, and the drum kit. We're here. Uh, we have this verse going on, and, and at this point, we used to go like, "All right, here we want some vocals on it," uh, and then we try to use our, our imagination because we are old and we do this. Young people don't do that; they just use the imagination plugin. But we <laughs> use, try to use the imagination to get to the point how the vocals will sound with this. And then, as you can notice, it's like twice the same riff. 
it's one, twice the same guitar part. So then we uh, started uh, doing some overdubs on that, like with some guitars, some keyboards. So because we are talking about guitars, there's another uh, track, uh, as you can see um, on the screen, like all the fr that track, uh, great track at the beginning is like there's nothing on it, and then it starts sounding because in and in in the second repetition of the of the of the guitar section, we wanted some kind of overdub to create some interest uh, in, in to the ear of the of the audience. So we did with the same plugin, Overload, a clean guitar arpeggiated. Uh, with the TH3 at this, uh, this moment, yeah, not the two. We're using the two for the uh, distortion parts and the three for the clean, clean sound because he's so fan of the clean TH3 sound. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's quite interesting sound. But uh, we have to go quick, uh, straight on our, uh, the sound uh, directly from the plugin, and I get one sound that, that, that we like it so. Uh, and that's it, and that works. A little delay, uh, a little distortion, and that's all. Yeah, we, we just go like, we need, uh, at this particular moment, we need some kind of uh, clean, crunch guitar, because we wanted some big arpeggios going on with a little bit of reverb. So we just try to find a preset that sounds likely, and then we spend some time finding the, the real sound, or at the studio, we we uh, travel to the studio and then we talk with producer about uh, the best sound, but they used to know the sound they want, the, the producer, because they are so used to that. So yeah, uh, this uh, this particular guitar sounds like, oh, I can't remember, it's like, I don't remember, something like this. It's like this kind of sound. It's a little bit moody and, and with all the, the extra effects, it sounds like, oh, sorry, something like this. It goes like, I can remember. Something like that. Something like that, I cannot remember. It's actually recorded, so <laughs> it's okay. So if you want to listen to it. So we use this uh, idea to create more, a uh, little bit of uh, interest uh, into the ear in the second repetition. If you want to listen to drums and, and guitars and all, and this other guitar all together, and this is shaping up this way. So when this guitar came, came in, it's like, uh, maybe you don't notice it's there, but something's going on in the mix. It's like, okay, it sounds like a little bit different, so it, it don't drag on uh, to the ear. So uh, uh, usually we can add more tracks, but in this particular section, there's anything, nothing else going on uh, guitar-wise. Well, you have to know Persephone albums, it's uh, like a lot of textures ambient so going uh, behind and uh, that gives uh, really a lot of depth in the in the mix uh, in the final mix so you only listen to guitars and drums but there is uh, a lot more things uh, behind that to get uh, all that uh, ambience and depth you know what uh, <coughs> with, i'm sorry actually in the, in this in this album we were trying to to um, work with uh, sounds so, uh, above all, uh, guitar clean sounds and uh, um, uh, keyboard sounds that are not uh, that usual for the band. Uh, in, in other in other uh, albums, uh, we always try to work with uh, with uh, something like pianos, mellotron, uh, Hammond, uh, all uh, some some synths, but but not as much uh, as we are doing right now. Uh, we are, we want we really want this album to to have this experimentation point of uh, uh, looking for sounds that give that extra texture that makes that that part uh, a bit uh, um, special okay even though there's a grunt a guy grunting on, on uh, all over the top okay but you always have that depth okay and that make it make that part special uh, for uh, if you want to talk about this but uh, 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 there are some keyboard parts here once, once we have the, uh, that's, this is structure, okay, uh, we have that clear that uh, the guitar and the drums are working well together. That the part in itself is uh, is 
walking is you know it's uh, it, it's uh, it's groovy and it works like we want uh, we we'll start with this process uh, maybe is is the is the most time uh, time uh, time consuming part okay because in the, at this point we we'll, we we'll really need to uh, to think what we want to listen here for example in this in this particular case we have uh, at, at the beginning uh, a string a string section uh, I, I think it's a mellotron actually it's a strings it, it's just a, a string sound not not mellotron but probably in the in the end within the album will be that mellotron thing because i like the texture it gives uh, but if you can play it uh, Pere? Yeah. Okay, this is for the first part of the of the um, of this section. Uh, <coughs> the, really, the chord progression is following the the, the guitars, but the the only uh, the only idea behind this is to is to make that um, uh, background behind all what's happening. If you can play it with uh, with uh, with the drums and the rest of the stuff, <coughs> it gets another dimension, I think. Solo la, solo la primera. For this particular sound, we, we are working uh, uh, with uh, with the Chronos, with core, uh, with this core Chronos, and uh, everything is triggered from here. Uh, actually, all the sounds that we are using most of the all the time comes from core uh, core uh, key, uh, keyboards. And uh, when we are working in there, we are always working with MIDI because it enables us to uh, to leave there the MIDI for the moment of making the recording. I can actually record my keyboards uh, in the moment we are creating them. So I don't have to make a full process of dread recording everything, remind everything, because as you may know, uh, our album is around 60 minutes, 70 minutes, and uh, we really can avoid that moment, okay? Then it's only a, a matter of choosing what sound should sound in, the, in, 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 every, in every moment, decide the sound and make the, amid the, the recording with it with the with the MIDI with the MIDI sound. So uh, the re keyboard recording just happened once in in the moment of uh, really composing the, the part. Um, so in this particular case, we have another sound that it's working because uh, you know a string is like a very very regular sound in uh, uh, above all in, in metal music, um, and we like to put something extra. So uh, I, we decided to put some lead, uh, lead sound, with it. it's a sine, sine wave sound, uh, that makes some, some uh, notes that over time it probably will be sounding all, all over the top, very, very subtle, okay, but it works, it, it, I think it works really fine. The, the idea is the same as the guitar, because the, the track is, is moving on, uh, when the clean guitar came in, we want to create another, uh, texture with the keyboard to make sure something is pushing and, and, and taking the, 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 the part to another level. So this is why we keep the Mellotron going on and then we add this other, other texture you're talking about, but it's the same idea. If you can play it better, just, uh, just this track. Of course, this kind of sound is m most probably that it will end up uh, buried, buried in the in the whole mix. But I like to think that the that the producer will have options. The, the uh, when we are going to mix the album, he has some kind of options to to work with some sounds and make it sound a, a bit special. Maybe he can add some distortion in here, make it sound a little brighter. Uh, I, I didn't I, I didn't remind that uh, there's a kind of a, a riser. In the in the beginning of the part, that uh, works really fine to make the the, the change of the of the section. Uh, I, I think it's uh, it's a really machine uh, dance dance music uh, sound, but it works works also really good here. 
And then, then when we have the, the first part uh, uh, done, uh, we have another repetition, but we don't want to the, the textures to be the same. So we went uh, through another sound uh, that this, in this case is more electronical. It's a synth. Uh, it's, it's pretty aggressive, I, I, if, I, if I recall. You know what, uh, we've been so uh, into 80s retro music stuff lately. Yeah. <laughs> so this, yeah, it's something up in the album as well. I have this, this band I love called uh, Gunship. I don't know if you know them. It's amazing. And then we are so into that kind of pop retro 80s music and all the synths and stuff. So we're trying to, to get some of them because, you know, so it's amazing. It's, very, it's, very, it's actually very funny because we're, uh, we're always trying to push harder the technology with the, with the keyboards and the plugins and so on, but in the end we are kind of uh, looking for older sounds uh, incorporated to this new technology. It's and it's, uh, in, the, in this case I, I think it's, uh, it's wonderful because this is, uh, this is a kind of sound that some time back uh, I should play it and it's like, well, no, no, of course not, this is not working in this, in this part. But when you listen with the whole thing, it's, it's simply amazing. It, it, uh, I think it gives some, uh, 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 I don't know how to, how to say it, it's like um, putting everything together, okay? It's, it's, mixed, it's really mixed well with the guitars, uh, with, the, with the drums. I think with the vocals it will be, will be great because of that distortion that it has. We hope. Uh, we hope. <laughs> I think that the, actually the, the sound you have heard is a really a rough version. I think it's not even synchronized that face thing, but it will be in the album, of course. But uh, very few can play it. Yeah. It's, I think it works really, really cool. With the rest of the Yeah. This synth came came in at the same time with the guitar, with that with that clean guitar, and it gives another another dimension different from the first part. So uh, it's it's uh, yeah go. This is really nice, this keyboard, because it's called the new retro wave and you, you add a lot of movement, it's not a static sound, so it's kind of always movement, so that combined it with the guitars and with the drum kit, that really gives uh, excitement and, and gives uh, a lot more <laughs> complete arrangement, you know. This, is, this comes from the, actually it comes from a module M3, from Cork that I don't have here because we work also in some uh, some more places, but uh, uh, it's, it, it comes from it's, it comes from that keyboard. It's it's really cool. It's pretty much it uh, about the arrangement itself. Uh, there's a, of course there's a there's a missing instrument that it is important, that is the bass. But uh, when we are making these pre productions, we like to reserve that moment of adding the bass. The surprise thing at all. Yeah, because. <coughs> You you get used to listen to this and uh, this is even though it, now it sounds nice it sounds good it's kind of empty with the, without the bass and when we record the real drums we record the, the final guitars and uh, we add all the keyboards that are already recorded and then we add the bass it's like the, this wow okay yeah, we like that feeling and uh, we leave that uh, that instrument for the end Be, besides it's uh, it's uh, is it. It's a time consuming also to, to have to create a track for the bass and uh, we prefer doing that uh, in, a, in a later stage. If, if, if you, uh, in my opinion, if you overproduce the demo uh, by creating, we try to get both guitars even if there is so, some harmony going on, we try to, 
to get it done uh, in the in this pre-production. But if you need to go came up uh, came up with the bass line and all the guitars and all the stuff, you can uh, be lost. All the train of thought can be lost in the moment. So because you can now imagine the whole thing because it's pretty accurate with all the drums and all the extra uh, clean guitars and keyboards. You can actually imagine how the vocals will work and and have a, a really um, accurate idea. So that's why we don't think it's uh, this bass process is needed at this moment. And then also we have this surprise, surprising moment in the end when you click, uh, put the bass in and everything sounds like really, really big. So this is it. So, so far this is it. We, this is uh, the, the, the way we, we work creating demos and pre-production. We record the vocals ourselves uh, as well because after this we need to uh, re-record all the guitars. As Mo told, uh, all the keyboards are done at this at this point because we are using this MIDI stuff, so everything is record right now. But we need to go through the whole record uh, process with the guitars and with the bass and with the drum as, and with the vocals as well. So we uh, record the vocals ourselves as well. But in the end, never in the in the pre-production. We have this. We sit down with the singer uh, just the day before going to to, to st on studio, um, and then we work on on the lines and, and we just record it straight uh, in the final the final way. Because you know, vocalists, their 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 instrument is really organic, and you cannot go over and over trying to. And we scream a lot, so we want to just reserve all the energies uh, for the final the final recording. Uh, same thing with the drums. Uh, we actually set up uh, a room. We bring there uh, all the what was it? preview. Preamps. Yeah, all the preamps and all the. <laughs> Yeah, all the all the good preamps and all the good microphones and all the big patient and all the good mood and all the you know <laughs> big hours and then with all this pre-production we we spend lots of time trying to get the best uh, takes out of this uh, pre-production uh, ideas and yeah that starts the the real recording process to get into the real professional sounding um, uh, album sound. So this is, uh, this is the way. You know, actually, uh, uh, talking about the drums, so you need to, you don't need a big setup. You nowadays because you have tools to make it uh, sound bigger, with some replacement and all that. Yeah, of course, we want <coughs> Persephone wants always to to get a real organic uh, sound. Uh, so they record by real <laughs> in a real uh, room but uh, it's uh, it's not a big setup so you need to, the most important thing with uh, with the drums is always the, the, the overheads you know to get the whole drum kit after you always uh, always have to take care about uh, the microphones you said the preamps used for the over overheads the rest of the thing is, uh, is is important of course but not not so much important so you you record also kick drum now drum, uh, all the all the hi hat uh, stuff, toms, but at the end and uh, most of our modern productions, uh, kick uh, kick drum and snare drum and toms are re replaced, uh, blended with the real organic sound. But the, the overhead is, it's, it's really a big, it's a big part actually. It's a big part actually. Yeah. For for uh, for uh, small bands that can uh, that that wants to make this process, uh, I think it's uh, it's it can be encouraging for them to know that uh, we we don't go actually to a to a big studio make the recordings in a big studio. We uh, we are actually recording our drums in a rehearsal room. We take some uh, some Aurolex, uh, you know, like like this one uh, to make the 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 acoustic a bit better, but we are not going nuts with this stuff. It's just, uh, as Pere has, has said, we try to get a, a good overhead sound, and uh, we, we put uh, some room mic, because uh, apparently all, all, uh, all engineers like to have this sound, that this extra sound. Uh, and, but really all, all, this, all, all the rest of the stuff uh, uh, can be recorded with very cheap, cheap stuff. Uh, the interface hasn't had to be really, really good because there will be a, a lot of sound replacement. Uh, but the only thing that, as Pere has said, you really need to take care of is overheads. But it's, it, that's the only thing that they can, they cannot switch. Yeah. When we start the real recording process, there is a lot of communication with the engineers of the of the final studio. 
to uh, we told them the microphones we we're using, all the preamps we we're using, and then they advise us don't do this, don't do that, uh, try this idea because they don't want to have uh, any further issue when we because we will have like a week to to travel and 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 go, go there and try to fix everything. So they used to give us a lot of advice, and, and of course from album to album we used to uh, learn new things and we made mis make mistakes all the time. So we learn and we try not to make the we try to make new mistakes in the in the next <laughs> album. So this is this is the way it works. But there's lots of communication with the with the final studio because they we want to meet their their needs in the end. Right, so we're nearly done with this uh, this part uh, because this is a verse. Uh, there's not not so much going on uh, instrumental wise, but sometimes if there is this is if, if there is some lead guitar going on, we used to uh, use another track with another plugin, and maybe we we'll go with some harmonies, and so it could be the preposition could be really big in the end if you are uh, using a lots lots of uh, different ideas and producing too much but at this moment there is only one track um, one track uh, missing which is another uh, little electric uh, clean guitar going on uh, in the second part of the of the second section of the of the repetition of this riff uh, just when the other guitar clean comes in just to get and again a little bit more uh, of this texture and, and, and depth uh, when the singer came in, so it sounds like, I don't know, because I don't know how to play it. With the other, now right. you can listen both clean guitars. Yes. So as I said in the beginning, you cannot start from here making this process. You need all the, the, the rhythmic patterns going on because you know this is like a, the, the, the last part of, the, of this uh, way of working. So that's why we use this, this particular way of, 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 of working again. Uh, so if you want to listen everything together, but the vocals and bass. I think uh, we have another, another track we haven't spoke about. I, I remember it. Uh, we have we have another track uh, that give uh, 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 some kind of uh, rhythmic sex sensation uh, to the to the whole section. We have other pulse uh, it, that it's coming from Zebra Two, from the plugin Zebra Two, and uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, can you, can we listen it? Pretty much the same all the time. So um, the idea behind this uh, this pose is uh, in this in this part our our, uh, our singer is going to grunt, uh, uh, clean, uh, um, singing, singing, screaming, and we want to give that uh, that uh, sensation of uh, something moving, and that uh, and we like that bad maniac, you know, uh, kind of pose that really gives an extra dimension to the to the to the section can we pl uh, listen to it with the with the whole thing Here, here I'm, ha I'm, I'm having some kind of faith and on our engineer because right now it's really buried in the in the mix, but uh, um, I think it has the the the, the high uh, the high end quality to make it sound all over the top, uh, switching places in the in the in the uh, harmonic spectrum uh, in, the, in the in the in the panorama, you know, and uh, I think it can really done a, a really good job for the for the section. Where is that part when we argue a lot? Like, I want this 
thing going up in the mix. I'm like, no, no, guitars are going up in the mix. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but I like this. Yeah, but Something guitars. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's uh, actually another, another interesting layer to the, to the overall sound. So as we talk, it is not a, a priority sound, but it's a, a sound that gives more depth to the, to the overall mix. Uh, combined with the guitars that have to be up front, of course. But uh, if you if you mute uh, it, uh, you 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 feel uh, there something is missing. No, yeah. uh, you can hear again because now I, I put some uh, additional plugins. notice uh, when I, I muted the, the, the track so something is missing is it's not uh, it's not very clear what's uh, happening in there that yeah. has been missed but yeah. but I think it, it works really really fine with yeah. the, with the whole section well at the end we are really big fans of uh, pulse uh, pulsing sounds right it's like the new retro wave you're talking about uh, before no? so yeah this is the whole thing yeah so this is it. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and for having us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed these videos and, and check out this new album we are about to record and we'll be on tour this next year as well. So hopefully we'll meet you on the road. And if don't, just, I don't know, leave some comments, whatever. Bye-bye. Uh,